Hey everybody, in this video I want to talk to you about four of the new security exams that were released at Microsoft Ignite. Hey everybody, my name is Sarah Lean and in this video I want to share some insights and overview to four new exams that were launched at Microsoft Ignite March 2021. Now, the four exams that were released are four security exams focused on things that are happening within the Azure world and also in the Microsoft 365 world. These four exams are focusing on various different job roles and various different levels from beginner to more advanced experienced people who are doing things in the security world. Right now, as I'm talking to you on this camera, the exams are in beta mode, which means you will be able to set the exam, but you won't get the score instantaneously. You'll have to wait a few weeks before the team understand what's happening with the exam, if it's the right level, if the questions are correct and how everybody's faring with the questions that are happening. Um, I will share a link in the description below to give you more information around what actually setting a beta exam is entails. Um, but do know that these exams will give you the same certification at the end of them so you can set the exam right now you won't get your score instantaneously but if you were to pass then you will get the same certification as everybody else that sets the exam when it's not within beta mode now if you're not familiar with microsoft exams please familiar yourself with some of the websites that we have available talking about these exams in more depth each exam that we have at Microsoft has a page dedicated to telling you who the exam is aimed towards, some of the exam objectives. So you have a really detailed guide about how the exam is broke up. You know, if there's 25% of the exam focused on identity, 25% focused on security, and the other 50 is on compliance. Whatever that breakdown of that means, um, you will have a detailed guide as to what to study towards. Also on this exam page is the mechanism to book the exam, where you can book it within your country, how much it costs. And lastly, there is information at the very bottom of the page about study guides, what information you can use to start your study for this exam. Now, in terms of these four exams, let's talk about the first one, the SC900, which is the Security Compliance and Identity Fundamentals exam. This exam is based at anybody. It is a fundamentals exam. So if you have a basic understanding of the core concepts around security, compliance and identity in the Microsoft Azure and Microsoft 365 world, this is an exam that you should be thinking about embarking on and actually sitting. It will cover off core concepts around Azure Active Directory, um, multi-factor authentication within the Azure world, things like Azure Security Center, Azure Firewall, Azure DDoS protection, encryption within the Azure world. And in terms of Microsoft 365, it'll cover off things like the Security Center, e-discovery, auditing. There's a breadth of knowledge that is needed of both these core cloud products, so Azure and 365, in order to sit this exam but I don't believe there's a real depth to this exam as it's called a fundamentals exam you just have to have a basic understanding and be able to identify some of the core concepts around security compliance and identity this is an exam I am hoping to study towards and actually pass and get my certification on so it is definitely one for everybody across the board now the second exam is the SC200 exam and that is the Microsoft Security Operations Analyst exam. This exam is aimed at people who are identifying the risks within their organisation, investigating any risks, any breaches and remediating those risks and breaches as well. When you look at the objectives for the SC200 exam, it's focusing on three key areas or three key products within the Microsoft family. So Microsoft 365 Defender, Azure Sentinel and Azure Defender. It might not seem that this exam covers a lot if it just covers those three products, but when you do look at the exam, exam objectives, there's a lot of content that you need to cover. So you definitely need to be someone that has used these products um, within a production environment and have a full understanding of what each of them do and some of the core concept and features within them. Now, the next exam, the SC300 exam, is the Microsoft Identity and Access Administrator exam. 
This exam is aimed at people who are using Azure Active Directory as their management plane, as their identity plane for their organisation. So implementing it, understanding how it works, using it on a day-to-day -day basis. Again, you really do need hands-on experience of using the identity platform and able to sit this exam. It covers off a whole post of products and features within the identity plane. So creating users, creating groups, implementing MFA, looking at single sign-on, and even looking at troubleshooting logs for single sign-on issues. So there's a full spectrum of knowledge expected around this SC300 exam. The last exam is the SC400 exam, and that's the Microsoft Information Protection Administrator exam. This is really aimed at people who are looking at their organization's risks in terms of information, how it could um, be breached, how it could um, cause a risk to the organization, translating some of those needs and risks that the organization see, and actually implementing the technical changes that need to be put in place in order to protect that information for the organization. Now it's focused on three key areas, information protection, data loss, and information governance. So again, three key areas that actually cover quite a wide spectrum across the board. It's focusing on Microsoft 365 technologies and methodologies for implementing this information protection, data loss, and data governance um, areas. So you have to be familiar with the Microsoft 365 products in order to really sit this exam. But again, please do check out the exam objectives for each exam to understand fully what's happening within the exams. Now, these exams do not replace current existing security exams within the Microsoft and 365 range. They are there to complement these exams. They are focused at various different job roles. We've got the fundamentals ones and we've got information protection ones that require real hands-on experience of using these products. I definitely recommend having a look at more depth into these exams and seeing which one fits in with your role. These exams really do help you understand where your skill set is, understand some new core concepts and really firm up your understanding of how to use these products within your environment. I know I'm definitely going to be sitting the SC900 exam and may even look at some of the other ones depending on my timeframes and where I am with my other commitments. Please do let me know if you are looking to do these exams, how you found these exams without breaching your NDA, of course, um, and get involved. Drop a comment in the box below and hit that thumbs up box if you did enjoy this video. Thank you for tuning in.